It's all about staying alive. It don't matter if you, it don't matter if you in that setting or you out that setting. I ain't, I ain't no hiding, I ain't no hiding from gun violence. I ain't, I ain't no hiding from violence, period. It's either jail or death, like literally. NBA Youngboy has become a very influential rapper at a very young age. Now this would be a good thing if he didn't have a charge sheet longer than most criminals. As we know, there are two types of rappers, one who leaves the street life behind and the other who often loses everything trying to keep the balance between both worlds. Sadly, Youngboy seems to lean towards the second category. He does not shy away from the violence and has proven himself as a rapper who is not to be played with. In this video, we'll take a look at what makes NBA Youngboy more feared than most rappers. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of NBA Youngboy. Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Early Life NBA Youngboy's real name is Kentrell Deshaun Salden, and he was born on October 20th, 1999 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Unlike most rappers, he didn't try to chase that one mega blockbuster song when he had just started his career. He started small by releasing solid mixtapes that helped him gain a strong base. The mixtapes were all about his authentic style and sound, which fans loved. Around 2017, when he had been releasing mixtapes for two years, Atlantic Records took notice and decided to sign him. In 2018, he released his single, Outside Today, which became his highest charting song, which eventually went on to peak at the 31st position. Then soon, he released his first album, Until Death Call My Name, which claimed the seventh spot on the Billboard Top 200 chart. Promising Career Youngboy started writing lyrics when he was sent down to a detention center for the first time. He was 14 years old and it was for a petty theft crime. When he came out of there, he purchased a microphone from Walmart and started recording. He first started getting attention for his beef with another Baton Rouge native rapper, Scotty Kane. They both released songs which had lyrics that were more or less death threats to each other. Because of this, he became famous for this song for song rap beef. Luckily the threats never got real and he went on to create bigger hits. Young Boy has quickly made a place for himself in the hip hop community. Today he is known for his melodious vocals and incredible work ethic. Even multiple trips to jail don't interfere with his production speed. When he was put on house arrest, he kept recording from home and released a song called House Arrest Tings. Just because of his speed of constantly releasing music, he has become one of the most listened to artists on YouTube. NBA got his entry into the top 10 songs of the chart with Bandit. This was his first collaboration with Juice World. Even without any real type of promotion, his songs get millions of streams. First Trip to Detention Center when NBA Youngboy was in ninth grade, he dropped out of high school and started taking part in petty robberies. Soon he got arrested and was sent to the detention center. Even after coming out of juvie, he didn't let go of his criminal ways. When he decided to become a rapper, he rented a studio with his friend, but they didn't have enough money. So he started stealing to get money. Arrested in two shooting cases. In 2016, NBA was arrested for firing at some people while he was driving a vehicle. Later, it was proved that he might not have been the one to actually pull the trigger, but he most definitely was sitting in the car. The same thing happened when he was arrested in the Miami shooting case. Earlier, it was reported that he was the one who opened the fire at unarmed civilians. But then, it was proven by his lawyer that he didn't shoot them, he was just with the wrong crowd. In the Miami case, he was violating his probation terms even by hanging out with his criminal allies, which resulted in him being banned for performing a whole year. Beef with Kodak Black in 2020, Kodak accused NBA of cooperating with the police about a stabbing incident that happened at his house. Since coming out of jail, Kodak is hell-bent on proving that Youngboy is not as much of a gangsta as he says he is. Nothing can damage a rapper's reputation faster than being labeled as a snitch, and this is what Kodak wants to prove. He was even present at a party where one of his baby mamas was being attacked, and Kodak told that it was him who actually tried to break the fight. He said that Youngboy was all about letting the police come and arrest both of the women. He didn't even try protecting his own child's mother. This obviously didn't make NBA look good, so he retaliated by getting into a relationship with one of Kodak Black's exes, Dej. Although the beef between these two has died down, it seems like Youngboy just can't avoid conflict. Drama with G-Money Rivalries are an unavoidable aspect of the hip-hop community. Not only does it help with street cred when two big rappers are at each other's throats, but it also helps drive up the album sales. 
Even when G-Money died, Youngboy didn't stop with his mocking tone. Some fans assumed that NBA is somehow related to G-Money's death and instead of denying it, he released a song that had derogatory lyrics about G. No doubt some rappers can stoop extremely low just to gain some clout, but it's these situations that should have rappers realizing that messing with NBA Youngboy might be a bad idea. Drug Charges since his early teens, NBA was getting arrested for possession of drugs, but now the charges against him are quite serious and he is being investigated for manufacturing and distribution of drugs. His lawyer presented the argument that his clients only used drugs briefly when he was a teenager. He tried to persuade the jury that Youngboy has been clean for a long time and it was only focused on his career. NBA has a long history with drugs and weed so his case is not an easy one to win, but his lawyer has always managed to get him out of the sticky situation before. Who is to say he won't be successful this time? Currently in FBI custody In recent years, NBA has always managed to successfully get himself out of the troubles, whether it was a feud with a rapper or assault charges, but now things have changed. In 2021, the FBI arrested him on a host of serious charges, and this time they were adamant about not letting him get away. He is being investigated for stealing dangerous firearms and then illegally smuggling them. Some of the weapons he is being named for stealing have been used in shooting people. This time, he has even deactivated all of his social media accounts, which means that truly anything is being used against him to put him behind bars. He is the kind of rapper who could have overshadowed many rappers' careers, but his own demons didn't let him. And with this, we have come to the very end of this video. What are your thoughts on NBA Youngboy? Where do you think his career will go after the next couple of years? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching, and until next time.